climbed to the top. This seems like something anyone could say that would not be that great of an accomplishment. But if you knew the background behind it, it means much, much more. I am very terrified of heights. So terrified that it makes me sick. This fear is called acrophobia and can keep people from living their dreams. This past March, I had the opportunity to climb to the top of Multnomah Falls outside of Portland, Oregon. At first, everything seemed perfectly fine, but after I started climbing farther than I ever had before, I got sick to my stomach and kept thinking, what if I fell off the edge? My fear of heights is at times considered extreme, but even little fears like that of spiders and snakes can keep us from doing extraordinary things. We all have fears, every single one of us. Some phobias come from something that we do, and some are from things that we have no control over. Class of 2013, I can guarantee that all of us have some fear for the future. Each one of these balloons represents our individual fears. <coughs> Elza, you might fear the thought of what if the Air Force is not the right choice for you. Dan, you could be fearing that you will not be ready for the real world. Kirsten, you might be <laughs> worried <laughs> about not succeeding in your dreams and having the wrong choice of major. And I know that I fear, is political science really the right major for me? These fears go along with the fear that we are all feeling right now as we spend some of the last few minutes being considered high school seniors. What's next? As I was climbing the falls, I asked myself this question numerous times. <coughs> it coincided with the thought of, can I turn back now? Though I wanted to turn around and wait in the family car, I persevered. I watched how easily my sister, brother, and mother climbed farther and farther ahead of me and I envied how little fear that they showed. Even though they made their way to the top, I had to fight back tears and try to keep moving. We all need to keep moving past our fears in order to reach our goals. If we let fear take over our lives, we will never achieve anything. Many times, this fear is the fear of failure, which I know is something each of us graduates has right now. In The Alchemist, Paulo Coelho writes, there's only one thing that makes a dream impossible, the fear of failure. Class of 2013, we need to remember this and not let it crush our dreams. When faced with fear, sometimes the only thing we can do to get past it is to accept the help of others. I did not get to the top of Multnomah Falls on my own. I got there through the help of my father. The entire way, he kept holding my hand and telling me how amazing I was at doing facing my fears. Being the terrified teenage girl that I was, I kept mumbling about how much I hated what I was doing and how sick I felt. My dad stuck with me all the way to the top, even through the emotional climb, and yes, he really did hold my hand. <laughs> in a way, we all need someone to hold our hand through the hard parts in life. Once I was able to let go of my fear of heights, I was able to achieve my goal of making it to the top of Multnomah Falls. Though the process of letting go of this fear was difficult and at times seemed impossible, I made it. I know that each one of us can achieve great things if we learn how to let go of what is holding us back. The first step is to face your fears and to find someone willing to hold your hand through the hard parts. You do not have to do such difficult tasks on your own. Reach for your dreams and reach for the helping hand. Fellow graduates, do you want to spend the rest of your lives living in fear? Do you want to miss out on something extraordinary? Odds are you don't. Class of 2013, I challenge you to let go of your fears. <laughs>